Juan Arellano here with another edition of HPTV's Extra Time on Hispanic Business Television. Let's get the ball rolling with the Colorado Rapids as they hosted Portland for the second time in the season. The Timbers got going early on. Tim Howard had to intervene twice, the second one being a more dangerous shot courtesy of Valeri. Shortly after, the attackers for the Timbers connected well and Valeri hits the bottom post to keep the game scoreless. Sebastian Le too got the attack going and knocked at the Portland Timbers door with this header. Al minuto 63, Hairston was going to leave a few defenders behind, puts in the low cross, and Le too finishes the play. First goal for him in the white and burgundy. With that goal, the Rapids earned 51 points in the season and clinch a playoff spot. What a great way to enter in the record books as a rapid goal scorer for Sebastian Le too. He not only gave the Rapids the three points, his goal got the Rapids in the playoffs for the first time since 2013. At this point in the season last year, Colorado was dead last in the Western Conference. Now they are about to finish the regular season with the best record in their history. My friend Gerardo Mendoza, who never misses a Rapids game, told me that he was super excited that the Rapids clinched the playoff spot and he wants to see the Rapids in the final of the MLS Cup. Hopefully you are right, my friend. A week before the international break, some teams and players gave us a lot to talk about. Tottenham remained the only undefeated team in the Premier League after defeating league leaders Manchester City 2-0. Sorprendentemente, el Barcelona perdió en contra del Celta de Vigo de manera muy pero muy dramática 4-3. Y que nos hable más de Javier Hernández. El Chicharito anotó el gol de la victoria en contra del poderoso Borussia Dortmund y no solo eso, también su gol 101 en Europa. In Pac-12 conference play, the Bulls were looking to extend their undefeated streak to three as they traveled southwest to face Arizona and Arizona State. In a game that was delayed by 30 minutes due to lightning, Taylor Korniak broke the deadlock with this amazing free kick in the second half. See you 1-0 over the Wildcats. The Bulls were looking to get another win in the desert. After an evenly disputed half, Stephanie Zuniga sends a chip through ball to Michaela Cross, but she is fouled at the top of the 18-yard box. Taylor Korniak was going to show up once again for CU scoring on a powerful free kick right before halftime. Later in the second half, Korniak again with another shot, but this one hits the goalie's right post. In the end, the Sun Devils had a great opportunity to tie the game, but they could not capitalize. CU wins 1-0. This CU Buffs team is on fire. After this weekend, they improved the record to 9-3 and are on a 7-game win streak winning their first three Pac-12 games for the first time since joining the conference. Nobody believed in them prior to the start of the season, being picked 10th in the preseason poll. This team behind Taylor Korniak's eight goals is for real. If you're a CU fan and want to go support your team, they'll be returning home to face Oregon and Oregon State this coming weekend. Antes de despedirme, un saludo a toda la banda que le va a los Rapids. A mi amigo el ingeniero David Chavez, a Cristian Barron y el Archie Zuniga. If you want to appear on this segment, send us your photos or videos with your soccer gear or showing off your soccer skills to my Twitter or Instagram. This has been another edition of HBTV's Extra Time on Hispanic Business Television. I'm Juan Arellano. Hasta la próxima.